extraordinary show of support for Ukraine from three European leaders. The prime ministers of Poland, the Czech Republic, and Slovenia traveled to Kyiv today despite the deadly Russian airstrikes in the capital. CNN's Natasha Bertrand is live in Brussels. And Natasha, why are these three European leaders taking such a risky trip right now? Diana, it's a really remarkable show of solidarity with the Ukrainians. And it's remarkable all the more because that these are members of NATO countries. And of course, Ukraine is not a member of NATO. They have expressed a lot of disappointment with the fact that they have not been able to join that defensive alliance. But these three uh, prime ministers and a deputy prime minister are going there in the middle of this conflict as these uh, sh as the shelling is continued as these as these bombs are, are dr really raining down on Kyiv and what we know is that they are taking the train there they're going to meet with Zelensky we don't know for how long or what the security situation for them is going to look like but the reason was kind of spelled out by the Polish prime minister in a statement that he wrote on Facebook this morning and I'll just read you a bit of that he said at such breakthrough times for the world it is our duty to be where history is forged because it is not about us, but about the future of our children who deserve to live in a world free from tyranny. Now this comes just ahead of what uh, may be a NATO leader summit next week as they kind of try to figure out the next steps forward uh, for the NATO member countries in their support for Ukraine, whether that's by humanitarian assistance or of course those very important uh, weapons deliveries beyond them. It's just unimaginable to see these leaders coming to a city that, starting tonight, will be under curfew, really showing their solidarity with the president and President Zelensky at this time. Tasha Bertrand, thank you.